Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss rate code question 1639 that says number of ways to form a target string from a given dictionary. So guys in today's video we will discuss multiple approaches to solve this question. We will start by base or base approach and we will then optimize it and further we will optimize it by removing a for loop. So yeah guys stick till the end and make sure you like this video. So guys here you are given a list of string or a dictionary of a same length in the words and another string you are given that is a target. So you need to uh, find the number of ways in which you can form a target string here. Now there are some conditions that you need to follow or some of the rules. Okay, This target string should be formed from left to right. The second thing is uh, to form the ith character of a target you can choose uh, the k character from the string j. Okay, That means let's say here if you want to form a or a this first a of a words uh, means of a target then you can choose any a like this a or this a or this a any k k character of a j string now the only condition is once you use any k character all is uh, less than means all the characters on the left whose index are less than equal to k are inaccessible or you can no longer use them okay and not just in that word in all the words okay in all the words they are all uh, the all the characters uh, that are towards the left of the k become unusable so for an example uh, if you choose so uh, for an example if you choose this this character let's say this a so to form this uh, target a if you choose this a from the words dictionary then this first character c first character b first character a and also the first and second character like all the characters less than equal to k index k they are inaccessible so you can't access a c b b and c a all these are inaccessible if you choose sec, uh, this uh, index one all the zero index and one index would be inaccessible from all the words right so this condition is the main condition that you need to keep in mind and yeah repeat this process until you find the target string to uh, get the target string so yeah uh, and also notice that you can use multiple characters from the string, same string let's say let's say if you use this a from here then again use this a from here yeah you can use multiple characters from the string, same string of a word and yeah at the end we need to return the number of ways to form the target from the given words and we need to modulo by this okay so now let's take a look at the first example for better understanding so here uh, uh, this is the words at a dictionary and this is a target so we need to find how many different ways we can form this target. So let's say we choose this first character uh, uh, starting from this A. We choose this first character. Now to form B, we choose the second character and form the A again here. We choose the same. Okay. So this is one way. So guys, take a look that there are different possible ways. I, you can choose this A, then this B, then this A, then this A, this B. So there are six different possible combinations. Uh, of choosing these words to make this target string a b a okay clear till here similarly here also b a b you can form by let's say taking this b uh, then uh, this third index a then this b so this way uh, that is one way to form b a b so yeah, there are four different ways to do that okay the only thing you have to keep in mind uh, is if you choose any character so uh, if you uh, choose this b this both and these both characters are then inaccessible you have to only check that keep that in mind so if you use this b here then you cannot select this two and have to move for, uh, forward to match the second character of a target so that is the main condition that you have to keep in mind okay now let's say uh, let's discuss of for this given target of this given only so so for so to form a aba uh, See, let's uh, let's say uh, uh, our one uh, pointer is here of the target string is here. So here our uh, let's say let me name this at uh, target index. So currently target index is zero. Okay. So we are trying to form this a. Now to form this a, what we have to do? We have to check for uh, st strings of this words, right? So let's say we ch we are checking for the first string a c c a. So if the first character or uh, matches with the target index. Uh, character at the target index if this character matches with the target index then you have two choices either to take either to pick or not to pick right you have two choices either to pick or not to pick so let's say if you try to match with second character now does c match with a no it doesn't match with it if it doesn't match 
you only one choice not to pick this character similarly for this not to pick now for this aim, you have again two choices either to pick or not to pick so if you pick this aim all uh, uh, so all the so the, here what is the index of this aim 0 1 2 3 the index is 3 so all the index less than equal to 3 are uh, inaccessible or cannot be used in all the words okay guys clear till here okay so what you can see that uh, we have choices and what are the choices two choices we have pick and not pick so now based on these choices can we form a recursion tree yeah we can definitely form a recursion tree and recursion tree will form like this so let's say if you here you have picked a after this uh we you can we have uh, we have words like this we have words like this c c a because first character is inaccessible b b b of all the words and a c a now from this uh this uh, dictionary of uh, strings we have to check for uh, another like for the next index for the next target index we will check from here so that's why if you choose one character all the uh, characters that are less than equal to that index are inaccessible from all the words and see that's this is how we will uh, this is how we, we can form the complete recursion tree clear till here i'm not drawing the complete recursion tree it will be very much big for this question but i hope you have guys have understood that for each uh, character of these words uh, we have two choices either to pick or not to pick and if it is not the same means the target index and the current index from this words array if it is not the same then we have only one choice that is not to pick in, in the case of this c and this c so this way to check for this we have to do for for all words right this is we have to do for all words okay for all words in this words item correct so yeah, based on this um, choices can we write a recursive solution isn't it that simple so yeah based on the choices we can easily write the recursive solution let me explain you that so here from this uh, main function we just call this sort function so uh, I initially took this mod and initialize it to 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Now this is one base condition that if we have reached the end of the target, that means we have achieved our target. The target string, let's say if the target string is ABA. So if we are at end, means uh, after there is no characters remaining, that means we have successfully formed the target. So we return 1. Uh, okay. And if the column index equal to this, that means let's say here in this string header, here in this, let me take this. So here in this example, if... Uh, if you guys uh, have reached here, let's so here uh, each words are length for length of each word. It is four. So if you are in trying to in uh, trying to get the index out of this, that means if you are trying to if you have reached the end of the word, that means you cannot form the target. See, so if you reach at the end of this word, so like each words are of same length, and if you are trying to access any character after this, uh, that means you have, we will return zero because the target isn't formed and there are no words remaining in this dictionary so yeah we return zero got this now as we discussed that for each character we have two options either to uh, pick and not pick so if you don't pick then we will try to access call index plus one see what is called index this call index will be index of the uh, in, uh, of the uh, words right index of like this so first index second index that we are checking okay right uh, th then if you are not picking then we will call call index plus one target index will remain the same so to match this argus index, we are simply not picking the current character and we will try for another character. Now for peak, what we have to do. So let's say if you are trying to uh, let me. OK, so if you are trying to uh, match the same, the last name, let me uh, show you uh, when this by this example, B, 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 C, A, C, A. So this is the target index, T index, target index. And let's say this is the call index the index 4 sorry the index 3 so what we will do is uh, if you are at here call index is at 3 then this a this b and this a all three are accessible correct if you are here at index 3 then index 3 of all the words are accessible okay now afterwards uh, what would be the number of ways you can pick number of ways would be uh, the frequency right see current ways uh, so what is the frequency uh, so we have to match a so what is the uh, frequency of a in all the uh, at this index at the index call index right the frequency is what frequency is 2 1 is present here and 1 is present here so the total frequency is 2 so what is the number of ways we can pick it is 2 into 
so this is current waves into uh, call index plus one that means this is a recursion for the next target so this is the number of ways to pick what is the uh, that means that there are two ways so twice into uh, this next number of ways for the next target okay guys clear till here so if the frequency would be three then we would multiply three into this if the frequency would be one then we would multiply one into this okay right we have to multiply uh, the current frequency the current number of ways to pick uh, the for the current target and multiply into the next target clear till here so at the end we will return peak plus not peak that is what we are doing we have two choices peak and not to peak and we will return the total sum uh, of uh, of getting of forming this target string by picking some of the characters and skipping some of the characters so guys clear till here okay now this is a recursive solution and it is definitely that we can write a memoization solution for this okay now let's go for the memoization approach so for the memoization approach we did nothing but simply took one dp uh, vector 2d vector of size n in, and so this is the size of the uh, all uh, size of the words in this string in this words dictionary and another size we took target see only two variables that are changing call index and target index so these two variables we need to handle in memoization so yeah we did the same uh, if call index and uh, target index is not equal to minus one then return them and here we are updating the value the code is the same as it is the only thing we change there but guys if you will solve this uh, solution by memoization also then also you will get tle because this we this is of n cube this solution is of n cube because we have uh, this for loop inside this solve function also this solve function will take n square so the time complexity for solve is n square but inner for loop will also take n all the time so over a time complexity here will be n cube okay so we can reduce this n cube right so here we are finding at the current core index how many words has the same character as the target character at this index this is only we are doing here in this for loop right so can we store it initially yeah yes guys so what we have did here in the optimize approach we store it that whether this character i uh, at j index is present how many times the frequency of character ch at the jth column so this thing we already store it so that instead of for loop we can write the simp simple if condition got this so we can write simple if condition so here we have reduced the time complexity b from big of n cube to big of n square right so yeah guys that's how we first wrote the recursive solution and understood this then we code for the memoization approach and then we optimize the memoization approach by using uh, uh, this frequency 2d vector right and this is of size 26 because there are 26 characters and n n is the size of one word in this dictionary of words or string of strings of word so yeah that's we, that we, that thing we store that what is the frequency of character ch in the jth column and yeah we directly check if the if it is greater than zero then we have to then we will check for this current ways into next ways so guys clear till here uh, and yeah we also passed uh, instead of any uh, instead of initializing the dp as global variable we passed through our solve function so this will also be a bit affect in reducing the time complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video we're talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity for both the solution we have already discussed and the space complexity is big of n square plus recursive stack so why big of n square See guys, because this dp array is of size n square, so yeah, the space complexity is of big of n square, uh, and yeah, this is this would be also like uh, of size big of n, you can say, because 26 this is fixed. See, this is fixed. This is only changing. So yeah, overall, you can consider this as a big of n. Uh, so the for the complete code, the space complexity can be generalized to big of n square for the dp plus recursive stack plus big of n for this frequency map. So yeah guys, that's all for this video. If you guys have any doubts, then do let me in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.